Hi, you guys. <laughs> I'm kind of having trouble with the lighting on my camera. I'm also having trouble waking up. So, I'm going to get myself ready for the day, and we're going to unpack my bag from Hawaii. Hi. I'm back from Hawaii. I don't want to be. Um, I really don't want to be. I'm in those days of the Maui blues, and it's rainy and gross outside. You know what I just discovered? This dang battery for our scale for our suitcases. Remember how we didn't have it to weigh our suitcases? This dang battery, I found it at the dollar store yesterday for $1.25 for a two-pack, and we could have had this thing with us. We just decided not to go to the store. And I'm gonna buy like five of those packs and I'm gonna take the battery out in between using them because it just seems like it just drains the battery between trips. Like it gets knocked and turned on. Side note, now I know where to get my battery from. I memorized what number that battery was. Hi, we're back. The lighting. All right, that's a little better. I think my camera settings got like really screwed up somehow. We're gonna empty my makeup bag as we kind of chat here. I am in the little, oh, see it's going red again. We're gonna have to keep trying. I keep changing settings. This is my life. Nothing is working <laughs> in my life. Um, we're gonna just chat here while I try and get ready and hopefully this isn't the only part of the video I'm able to get out of this camera today. I am in the stages of the Hawaii blues being back home. I took a nap the first day, barely able to function, but I had to function. I had a bunch of things to do, including a scan. I've got to keep doing those scans, you guys. What else have we been up to since we've been home? Not much. The kids are back in school. They had a really hard day the first time, the first day back. In fact, Abby and Kaylee, or Abby and Chelsea and Ashley went late. I took them to school, probably about an hour or two late, depending on what school they were going to. Remind me to tell you a funny story about this, I, this acetaminophen. I'll tell you a funny story about that here in a second. So they all went to school late, but they made it through the day and they came home and they just crashed. They had something to eat and they all took a shower and they went to bed and I did too. I went to bed at like 7.30 that night after I took a shower. I was exhausted. Then yesterday, I edited and scheduled appointments for the kids. We're about a week away from being able to schedule Abby's surgery. Their summer schedule is not open yet at Children's Hospital for our uh, surgeon. So that will be scheduled soon. Anyway, just had to make a whole bunch of other appointments, just get back to life. I ran to Costco, as you saw. It's just hard being back home in the rainy cold weather. I think it would be better. I was feeling a little bit better when I went to Ashley's Cheer last night um, because the sun was out and I was like, ooh, maybe I can walk outside and wear my tank top and it'll feel not like a Maui, you know, boardwalk by any means, but it'll feel nice, you know what I mean? And uh, no, it started raining like the second I got there, so <laughs> that didn't happen, but I did get six or seven miles in, which made me happy, um, made me feel better about myself and just better in general. I just felt better. Kind of getting off those like airport stagnant, your body doesn't move on the airplane, you know, mode. I'm just emptying as we go here. I used almost everything I took, which is a good thing. Um, I did not use my face mask and we didn't get in the ocean as much so I didn't end up using my little little bandeau thingy. Usually I tend to use that one more for the, be the beach. So I kind of tend to get more fried. So we're back at home. I'm just going to edit videos today but I do have some errands to run so I'll take you on that little adventure today. Nothing exciting. Meds at Target and things like that. Look, I haven't even started doing makeup yet. I've just been putting stuff away. Um, so let me get my makeup on and then um, we'll go from there. Feels kind of nice to have makeup on, not gonna lie. It's also gonna feel nice to have my hair done. Do I have anywhere to go besides Target? No. Do I still wanna do it? Yeah. We're gonna do it. We're gonna straighten my hair today. Jason doesn't even have a day off tomorrow. I have nothing. 
Do you have book club tonight? And Ashley has a recorder concert. <laughs> a recorder concert. Isn't that cute? And that's it. That's all I have. I didn't even read the book. It was Joanna Gaines's new book. I didn't even get a chance to read it. I couldn't get the audiobook for my flight. And so I did not read the book. I have to put my glasses on. Where are my glasses? Okay, so let me tell you this funny story about this bottle of acetaminophen. When I packed my bags for our trip to Hawaii, I was very intentional with the bags. My polka dot bag, if you remember, um, the two. I have polka dot and then I have this pink one. This is my makeup bag. I only put makeup and my supplies in that bag. The polka dot bag was the family medicine cabinet. Literally, I had inhalers, meclizine, dramamine, ibuprofen, band-aids. I had everything in there, right? That was the family bag. So if someone needed something, mom, do you have clippers? Yeah, it's in the polka dot bag. They were in that constantly. That was the bag that had everything in it. You have a headache, go get the ibuprofen from that bag, okay? For whatever reason, when Jason had a headache, he decided to get into my makeup bag and get the acetaminophen from my makeup bag. Did he think twice about how big my acetaminophen pills were in that bag and that they were different than the ibuprofen pills in the family bag? He even compared. Hmm, that's odd. These are really big. Did he say anything to me about it? Mm -mm. Nope. We just went on about our day, right? Now, side note for Jason. He's gonna kill me for saying all this because it's kind of personal. Um, and maybe your men in your life, or if you're a man watching this, I don't know why you would be, but if you are, <laughs> welcome. I have hair everywhere. This is why I usually don't get dressed before I do my hair, because I usually end up with hair everywhere. Jason does not go to the bathroom in public. He will save it for his own private spaces. Will he pee into the bushes on a road trip? Yes, he will. Will he hold it 12 hours to go the other side of the bathroom? Yes, he will. He will not go to the bathroom in public. He just won't. But while we were in Lahaina one of the days, I don't remember what day, he suddenly was MIA and he texted me, you have all the kids, keep an eye on all of them, because we kind of were splitting up. We were kind of going in and out of stores and kind of splitting up and he would go in some and I would go in others with kids, you know. And he's like, you have all of them, keep track of them, I'll be out in a minute. And I was like, okay, I figured he was in a store himself and that they hadn't wanted to go in. Like 20, 30 minutes goes by and he still hasn't kind of showed back up with all of us. It's not a big area, like eventually you're gonna run into each other. So I had all the kids with me and I was like, where's dad? And they were like, he's in the bathroom over by Ululani, U Ululani's, the shave ice place there in Lahaina. And I was like, ooh, he's been in there for a while. Is he okay? And they were like, yeah, he's been in there a while. I don't know, he doesn't go in public, so he must not be feeling well. I legit thought he wasn't feeling well. Side note, the thing that happened to us before we went on our little trip, um, Ashley got the flu the day before we left. Full on flu, puking here, all over our bedroom and bathroom. All over, all over, all night. The night before we came to Hawaii, all over. It was awful. And we thought it was gonna run rampant through our entire family and our whole trip was gonna be ruined and we wouldn't be able to go. But I nursed her back to help, made sure she didn't have any fevers throughout the day, got her feeling fine, kept her in this room. She was not allowed to be near anyone. I spent a lot of my time in this room taking care of her, literally hand spooning. Okay, you understand. I was worried, even though it had already been like five days since, six days since Ashley had been sick, I was worried he was in the bathroom sick with the flu. No, he came back out and he was like, oh, that was bad. And I was like, are you sick? And he was like, no, I don't know what happened. I just, you know, I don't normally go to the bathroom in public. I don't know, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't hold it, I couldn't, like that was bad, I don't know if I'm, I don't know. Fast forward about 24 hours, this is a long video, I'm so sorry. Fast forward about 24 hours and he's again in our bathroom, in the hotel room, he's asking for ibuprofen and, and I said, yeah, it's in the polka dot bag and he's like, well, what do you mean? And I was like, it's in the polka dot bag, all the medicine's in the polka dot bag, don't get the, one, the medicine that's in my makeup bag. And he's like, what do you mean, don't get the medicine in your makeup bag? I said, just that, the medicine in my makeup bag is my medicine. This is my medicine. You guys. <laughs> These are my metformin pills. These are my metformin pills. 
if you have never taken me I know some of you have taken metformin and you know what that does to your bowels he took two of them I take four of them every evening and this is why we struggle to get out of the house during the mornings because of how I react to that metformin <laughs> And for someone who's never taken it, he about died. He's like, you take four of these things? He's like, I thought I was gonna die in that bathroom. <laughs> Our whole family and Jacob just about died. We were laughing so hard. So needless to say, his headache never went away. <laughs> but he cleared his gut. He cleared his gut really good and I'm down two pills. I won't make it to the next refill. <laughs> okay, that was long enough story. Let me get ready and then we'll do something. Man, it feels so good to have clean, dry, straight, done hair and makeup on. It feels fantastic. Before I forget, I'm gonna unplug the flat iron um, and shut the window. I always get super hot when I get ready. All right, bed is kind of made. Take my jacket and not wear a sweatshirt today because I've got this cute shirt on. I got this um, at Marshall's before we went on our trip and I never wore it there because I just wore tank tops the whole time because it was so hot. All right, I think, let's see what else am I gonna do today. I'm gonna go work on a computer for just a smidge. It's, I'm not used to spending this much time getting ready in the morning. <laughs> Um, the kids are all in school though. Look, our suitcases are empty. They're just sitting here waiting to go upstairs. I'm going to try and get them put away in our closet, but I need to clear out a little bit more space. So I think what I'm going to do, the house is fairly clean. The kids haven't done like their surface chores. I need counters cleaned, floors swept. Um, the dishes are done. In fact, I should go start that load. Um, I'm not done like putting everything away. Like these are all the souvenirs. I haven't decided on the souvenir video. You'll have already seen it if I did it. But I've got to gather up the souvenirs the kids already packed away. So that's where I'm kind of at. See, it's already 10 o'clock. I'm not used to taking this long to get ready to go for the day so the dishes are loaded so I'm gonna hurry and start that load so that it's done by the time Abby gets home from school and I can have everyone do their chore fresh so we have a clean house okay so I'm editing <laughs> the last day or the day we got home um, from Hawaii like the day after I should say and I'm falling asleep looking at myself being so tired <laughs> I gotta step away from it for a minute um, and run a few errands. I'm literally like falling asleep, looking at myself yawning and remembering how tired I was that day. I still don't think I fully recouped. Um, I made a mistake and had a Coke for dinner last night with my, I had a Cafe Rio credit and so I got that on my way home from walking with Abby or Ashley last night and I had a Coke with it at 7 p.m. And so I was awake until 1.30 a.m. And so just undone what I was trying to do. Oh, so no, tired again. It's barely 12. Um, so I got a lot of good editing done, um, work on a computer done. So now I am gonna run in my errands. Look, I, st I still haven't even finished unpacking. I'm just gonna be honest with you. This is all like beach stuff and our air mattresses. This is my little um, medicine bag. I had to dump it out to try and find Ashley's medicine. Um, anyway, like all of this stuff just needs to get put back away. All the inhalers. I just had to take everyone's inhalers with me just in case everyone needed their dose. Oh, what is this one? Antibiotic cream. All that goes into the medicine bucket. I'll take my gum with me. And um, I think this is my extra pills. So we're gonna run to Target to get some um, meds. I think just for me, I think I have three that I have coming due. So let's go to Target. Why do they have to have such cute stuff here at Target right now? Like, are you kidding me? How 
cute would that be for like 4th of July stuff, summer stuff? Do I need it? No. I'm actually just really liking this one. I mean, this one is cute for 4th of July too. And the Surf Shack. Shoot. This is kind of cute too. I don't need it. Made it out of Target without buying anything but ham, cheese sticks, because I forgot those at Costco the other day, and all my meds. That's all I got. I avoided two Chris or two. I avoided two summer sections, a Fourth of July section, and the dollar spot without buying anything. I did good. I did good. All right. Give you a little sneak peek. That's Kaylee and her picture. I just got them from the photographer. So I've been looking at them for the past um, a couple hours. Here's someone trying to park. Usually Kaylee has a hard time parking her car. Um, so I've been working on the computer since I got home from Target, I don't know, about an hour, hour and a half ago. Chelsea's home. Hi. Oh, what? the light was really bad. Uh, sounds like you just made a hot dog. Yep. Correct. A cheese dog, I should say. I need to do something here in the fridge. What? Not talking to you. I'm talking to them. I know, but like, what do you mean? <laughs> okay, here in the fridge, I need to put away the cheese, put away the fruit. I have literally, like, I came home from Costco and I just dumped it into the fridge. Um, I need to put the cucumbers into a jar along with cutting up the peppers and put those into a jar. I think I can wash the last of the blueberries and have those for my lunch snack thing I need to eat. I'm not to <laughs> yeah, I know, you're not, it's not working out for you, Chels. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Good thing this isn't a formal video. She was about to get out another bowl from that pirate booty. It's lasted two days. But there's another bowl right here that had pirate booty in it. There's two more right here. And I've already put another one away in the cupboard. That one had pirate booty in it. It's not dirty. It literally just has like crumbs in it. Use it again. Also need to cut up the pineapple. Um, yeah, I need to cut that up. That is ripe, ready to go. Put that into a bowl. Um, but I don't want my fruit, my veggies to go bad. So I'm gonna start to pull them out. I wanted a snack anyway. I'll have my salad for dinner. So I'm just gonna have like cottage cheese for a snack right now. Oh, and the grapes. I need to put the grapes into a jar and get them all put away. That needs to get fixed so that that actually is closed. She did a good job. Why did she cook them and then not eat them? Chelsea, how come you just cooked this and then didn't eat it? What? How come you just cooked it and didn't eat it? You don't like the cheese in it? All right, I'll eat it. All right, I got the fridge all straightened out. We have a cheese bucket. We have a meat bucket. This is what I got at Target today. I got the deli ham. I'm gonna look at the grocery store to see if it's on sale on Mondays. Meat goes on sale at Safeway on Mondays, in case anyone wants to know. And Chelsea was right, this is not the same kind of <laughs> little um, cheddar hot dog that I normally get. I don't know why, it doesn't taste quite the same. It's okay, I'll eat it. And then I put the peppers in this jar. I have not cut them up yet. I'm just not gonna take the time to. And that salad will be gone tomorrow, tonight after I eat it. And then I'll put the cream cheese and the cottage cheese right here. But I did something a little bit different up here. I kind of scrunched some of this stuff onto this little Lazy Susan so that I could do this up here. Look, how cute. These peaches don't look so good, but they work fine in um, like peach sauce. For whatever reason, they just browned before we got the jar sealed but they work perfectly fine. But then look, I've got my cucumbers, my peppers, my grapes, and my cucumbers, extra ones are back there, and then applesauce, and like, they're just very visually like appealing when they're up here like this, um, and they're not in the way. I used to have them lined up down here and they were always in the way, and so I like that they're up here. I put some of the condiments over here on the side. I put the, what do you call it, syrup over here, and the marshmallow fluff over here. So I like how it's all situated. I also did the yogurts down here with the apples. Um, you can see how quickly we go through fruit. This is a, literally day three of having fruit. <laughs> I'm down to one jar of grapes, four or five apples, um, and the raspberries. I gotta hurry and eat some. 
or I won't get any of the raspberries. And where did the blueberries go? I'm definitely going to eat some of the blueberries because they will be gone if I don't eat them. I'm going to have some ranch with my cucumbers and this hot dog. I might not even need that salad tonight if I eat this. It's 3.30. But I need to get some protein in me. So I'm going to have this and the hot dog for the protein. I freaking just got punked by Jacob. I got this in the mail the other day. Is it back inside it? Oops, where's my earbud? Yeah, yeah, it's back inside it. Okay, I got this in the mail. I got to get the light because the room is dark. I got this in the mail the other day. Huh. He just came over and they're looking through their cute little senior photos and their portraits or whatever. And he's like, did you like subscribe to Trump and his new campaign? And I was like, no, I did not. Check out the, the you know, what's inside. And he says, you contributed $250 a month to be in the gold membership status? And I was like, I did not. Go ahead and open it up. And so then I open it up and inside of it is this cute little card. Yeah, I got punked. It says, P's pranks, you have been pranked. Sent someone, sent, someone sent you a prank mailer. And I was like, it can't be anyone on my channel. And he's like, who would send this? And I was like, it can't be anyone from my channel because no one has my address. And maybe I have another one sent to my P.O. box. I don't know. And him and Kaylee are just sitting here giggling. And I was like, you guys did it. So you saw it from TikTok. Yes. And you totally did it. Uh -huh. I, we I were like so. trying not to laugh because you were like, yeah. it wouldn't have been like from my channel. And we're, like, I was dead serious. I was like, how, did you, like, how could you not like piece it together that it was like. Because I didn't think you guys would do why? it. That's so funny. It is funny. I got it and I left it on the counter for Jason to get. <laughs> Has he seen it? Has dad oh, seen it? I, I don't think so. Okay, we're going to leave it on his desk and we'll see what he says tonight. Like I'll tell him, hey, I, I uh, started contributing to a new campaign <laughs> for 2024. Just so you know, that would not be a campaign I would contribute towards. Just to clarify, if you haven't figured that out from being here on our channel, this is not who I would support. So just we're just going to put that out there. All right. I have looked through every single family photo. I just got back from the photographer and I have, I think I've narrowed down which ones we want to order. Kaylee needs to narrow down what ones she wants to order for her senior photos. This door doesn't like to shut. <laughs> she needs to pick out her senior photos and her um, individual photos. Her and Abby both need to pick out their individual photo. And. Oh, you can. Chelsea's just already done hers, I guess. <coughs> Trying to find my bag so we can go to our very last. <laughs> yes, it is our very last recorder concert. What? Oh, heaven help us. Go get your recorder. I don't have it. Is it at school? Yes, I forgot it. In my classroom, and I'm not able to get it from my classroom. So, what are you going to do? They have extras. Okay. So, apparently not our second, not our last, our second to last. Yep. Okay, recorder concert. You guys ready for this? I get a speech part. Yeah, she has a speech part. From I took that, I took from a